Hello there folks, heard something today on two different programmes that shocked me and surprised me. East End, pardon me, East Enders, that is it, 25, 30, 35 year old programme on BBC One. Many would say the flagship programme is under increasing threat of the axe. I believe they're doing absolutely terribly in the ratings. Good grief, I remember the show being watched by 25 million. Then a regular 18 million of memory serves a good few years ago. And I think the average four, five, six years ago was six, seven, eight million, along with its rivals, Emmerdale and Coronation Street. I've heard today that they're struggling to get a million viewers. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Now, I have confessed on here previously. I didn't like to, but I did. I have confessed that I used to watch it. I don't feel good confessing that I've watched or I do watch soaps. But I think it... Because this channel's about honesty and transparency, I thought I had to do it, and I did confess, and I did used to watch it. I watched it till a few years ago, as I've said in the past, that Danny Diary was the main actor on it. Can't stand him for a minute, can't act to save his life. Massively overrated, award-winning Danny Dyer. I won't give him any award, I'll tell you that now, absolutely crap, unless it's one of them golden raspberries. So he was the main star on there. You had old Phil Mitchell, I can't remember his name, I know his name, Stephen something or other. Plays a drunk better than anyone I've probably ever seen on film, film or TV. But other than that, the premise behind the character is crazy. I mean, every time someone needs 20, 30, 40, 50, 200 grand, Phil would find it from somewhere. Little backstreet garage, three motors. He could get his hands onto anything. Money, guns, the lot. He's feared throughout the East End of London. Everybody knows him again. Only a little mechanic. Everybody knows him. Right hard man, yet walks with a limp and must be nigh on 60 now. It's all unbelievable. And a family came... Well, I don't know why I'm all going on about this, but I'm just telling you. A family came into it a few years ago. I didn't like him at all. And I thought, that's it. I'm not watching anymore. And I stopped. That said, there's been some great actors on there. Old Doc Cotton, brilliant. Pauline wasn't too bad. There's been others. One of my favourites was Pauline's... Well, Arthur. I loved Arthur. I believe he only died about a year ago. I was shocked. I thought he'd died years since. Was it Bill Treacher? Very, very good actor. Liked him a lot when it first started. Liked a few others. Didn't mind the show. As I've said, I've now admitted it under full transparency. But I was shocked to hear it's not getting a million people. Especially with all the people they brought back into it. And they've got some well-known TV actors or comedians. Is it Brian Connolly? I think he's on there. I was just shocked that they're not getting a million viewers. Very shocked. I thought it'd be with us for the next 30 or 40 years, but I would suggest if they don't pull the socks up very quickly, it will be gone from our screens because they must throw a hell of a lot of money at that show, a hell of a lot. If only for the cast, I mean, the cast must earn a fortune between them because there's some big hitters on there. Um, yeah, but very, very surprised. I didn't realise they were struggling that much, as I say. In fact, it's probably six to eight years since I've watched it. Yeah, it's probably six or eight years, time flies. But it used to be a good show. What's happened? Where have you all gone? There's not only me that's left. Loads of us have left. As in, millions. No, I was very surprised. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring it up. There's probably no doubt plenty of you that watch it. I wonder if you're worried about losing one of your favourite shows, assuming it is one of your favourite shows. 